Well, now that I've returned to civilization, I could use a cool drink. How does a chilled espresso cocktail sound? Well, I recently learned how to make the Seattleite from CJ Catalano from the Fairmont Olympic Hotel. So it was a $25 million build out altogether. Uh, all the woodworking, pretty much all the bones and structure stayed the same, but it got a bit of a facelift. Uh, so we removed a lot of the carpeting throughout the lobby. Actually, while we were removing some of the carpeting on our stairs, we found some beautiful terrazzo flooring from Italy back wow. when this was originally built in 1924. And then this entire bar that I'm standing in is brand new. Uh, so it's a brand new feature for the Fairmont Olympic. Well, I can't wait to come have a cocktail. So what are we making? So the Seattleite is going to be a great mix between an espresso martini and the traditional Italian cafe correcto, which is pretty much adding a spirit to your espresso. Best way to start the morning. Uh, so we're going to start off with one ounce of our espresso that's roasted from Cafe Ladro. Uh, they did an exceptional job right here. So that's freshly pulled from a beautiful Slayer machine behind me. So we can do full coffee service all day right here. And then we're going to start off with a half ounce of simple syrup. Now I promise simple syrup is very easy to make at home. That's why they call it simple. And that's just going to help temper some of the bitter notes that you would find in a traditional espresso. The next ingredient we're using is Amaro Montenegro right up here. It's originally made in 1855 in Bologna, Italy. It's a blend of 40 different botanicals and herbs, a lot of orange peel, citrus, vanilla, honey, clove, really just adds so many beautiful notes to your espresso. Yeah, it's just really beautiful. And I will give the note, it's not quite interchangeable. Amaro is a broad category in Italy and they all vary wildly based on oh. the family recipe. So Montenegro so, yeah. is the key. Yes, this is Montenegro exclusively. You've got oh, a Verna, yeah. tastes almost like black Coke. You've got all sorts of different wild differences in flavor, but this is the one that makes a beautiful Seattleite cocktail. And then our last ingredient is actually gonna be our Olympic flavored, honey flavored vodka. We partnered with Sun Liquors right in Seattle. Um, and this honey could not be any more local. We actually cultivated it right from our rooftop where we had a full bee colony. Uh, wow. So that's as local as it gets. The honey was made upstairs. It was distilled about two miles away, and then it wound up right here. So this vodka is available for our in-room dining if you're ever coming to stay with us, which we highly recommend. Yes. It'll be two ounces of this honey vodka. There we are. And now what I'm going to do first before I shake it with ice is I'm just going to shake it without ice because that espresso is hot. We don't want it to melt down our ice too quickly. So all the other ingredients are going to temper that down. Okay. Just a quick shake, get everything incorporated, and now I'm going to add some ice to it. There we are. And now because this cocktail is going up in a coupe glass, that means it's not going to have any ice, so we want to shake it long and hard so it stays as chilled and delicious as possible. I mean, it looks like you can work out. You know, after a while, it's just like riding a bicycle. So I keep a little bit of crushed ice in my coupe. We want our glass where as cold as possible. Just like that espresso idea, we don't want to put a cold drink in a warm glass and then it meets in the middle. We'd rather mm -hmm. start as cold as possible. Got it. I'm going to grab a strainer here and a fine mesh strainer. This avoids all those little ice chunks that we would find in a shaken martini. Okay. You know, enough ice to skate on. We don't want mm -hmm. that because it's going to continue to melt out in our cocktail. So for this one, we're going to mix it. So you can see that beautiful espresso martini coloring right here. We've got all the crema that you would find from a traditional espresso. And we're going to finish this off with a lemon peel. So I'm going to give a quick peel. And then we're just going to clean this up real briefly. By cutting off the edges, making sure it looks very pretty. And then before we do the final touch, we're going to express this lemon right over the drink so that all those oils rest right on top of the glass. and then give it a little slice down the middle so that we can rest it right on our glass. Wow, that is just beautiful. And it's interesting to see, I've never seen how the lemon peel was actually done. Oh my goodness. That looks this is delicious. a Seattleite cocktail. I wish I was there to drink it. Um, well, we're open seven days a week. You know where to find us. That is the truth. All right, so what else? Could you have another cocktail that we can make at home Does it, using the honey uh, vodka? Yeah. So we're going to do a honey Tom Collins. Uh, okay. Very simple, very straightforward, very easy to make at home. It falls into the lemon sour category of family. So it's going to be lemon juice, simple syrup, a spirit. So we're going to go three quarter ounces of our lemon juice with three quarter ounces of our simple syrup so that we're matching our acid to sweet. 
And then two ounces of our Olympic honey flavored vodka. Now this one, we're not gonna shake quite as hard because it's going on fresh ice. Ah. So we don't need it fully diluted. We can do what I call kind of a medium and medium shake, medium strength for a medium amount of time. So a little less of a workout on this one. And then we're gonna add two ounces of soda water directly into our tin. Okay. Everything incorporates. We don't wanna to top off our drink mm -hmm. because then we kind of have layers going on. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, neither do I. So we're gonna avoid that. Cool. And then this is going right into a column box with fresh ice. And because there's already ice, we don't have to worry about any ice chips going in here. So no need for that wire mesh. Okay. And here you have it. The Honey Tom Collins, the classic for a reason. You know, the only thing that's wrong with that cocktail, CJ, yeah. is it's not in my hand right now. So you can find the recipe to make the Seattleite cocktail that CJ teased us with on our website.